Welcome back to another episode of The Last Boy Scout Survival and Bushcraft. I'm your host, Scotty Meeks, and today we're going to be discussing a piece of kit from the Vietnam War. Now, this piece of kit is something special. This helped to treat wounds and preserve lives throughout the course of the war, and it served military personnel extensively. So stick around. You're going to learn something. started, I just want to give you a quick admonishment that this video isn't meant to take you through these items and train you how to use them, nor is it meant to teach you any kind of first aid at all. But we are simply going through this piece of kit to discuss the items that were there and available to those who served in Vietnam. All right. be some kind of way out of here Say the joker to the thief There's too much confusion I 
can't get no relief. All right. Businessman there to drink my wine. This thing is old. Yeah, half expected it either to rip, tear, and not open at all. Take a look at that. That's just at first glance. It says, medical instrument and supply set, nylon, non-rigid, number two, Eastern Canvas Products Incorporated. And then it's got some numbers and part numbers and, and things like that there. Very cool. Now, I will let you know that I did do a little bit of research uh, prior to doing this reveal. I wanted to know a little bit about what to expect inside of this and essentially what should be here. Now, at first glance, this is not at all the setup that I was expecting it to be, but this looks cool AF nonetheless. Now the first item that you see or that I see right away, now I'm not sure if this is part of the kit, which I don't think it is, or something that my dad simply put in there, but this is a legit piece of paracord, old paracord from a parachute. Very cool. Looks like we need to do some fusing on the ends of this paracord here. All right, let's just pull everything out here on this side. Whoa, whoa, check that out. Yep, and I was right, some of it's starting to fall apart. Set this to the side as I go through some of this stuff. Looks like we've got some Curade Band-Aids. Seem to be falling apart here. And I'll just set these off to the side. <laughs> Band-Aid brand, Johnson & Johnson. like some of this let's talk about this first since it seems to be disintegrating right in front of me um this is uh it's like sterile bandage right sterile bandage and the packaging is uh disintegrating falling apart here Next thing we got here, ammonia inhalant solution, aromatic. Check that out. It says crush. Now I'm no uh, medical professional, but I assume having watched enough TV and uh, training videos and having participated in uh, many, 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 many first aid type classes that uh, simply following the directions crush and you utilize this ammonia inhalant to wake a mofo up. If they're knocked out or unconscious or whatnot. Uh, if you know of a different use for this or if I'm completely way off the mark, hit the comment section and tell me exactly what these ammonia things are for if not as an inhalant to bring somebody to consciousness. All right, what's the next thing here? Let's go for this packaging right here. Now this is compression bandage, camouflage color. So uh, apart from reading off what it is, right? The part numbers that are partially faded off, on the back side of this, it actually gives you practical uses for this. 
And as we've discussed in some of our previous videos with the uses of say a shemag or a bandana, you can use this thing as a sling, as a compression bandage, as a wrap to cover uh, things that you've bandaged or maybe sutured, and also as a tourniquet. Very cool, this actually shows you a diagram of how to use this thing as a tourniquet. Awesome, digging the color. I think I might have to open this bad boy up and use it as a Rambo head wrap. That'd be cool, right? Or nah, am I too old to be walking around trying to look like Rambo? Strongest so far. Sorry, had to. Next piece of equipment I see here. We got some prep blades. No. Who doesn't need a nice blade? As I said before, I wasn't going to go into any of the first aid uses for this thing or anything specific. But if I was lost out in the jungle and let's say I all I had was this med kit, I for dang sure would want some blades, some sort of a cutting tool uh, to help myself fashion uh, shelter, cut things up, materials, uh, cut cordage cut bandages, cut away things that are in the way, who knows, but I, this came with one, two, three, four of these. Very cool. Next thing we have here is uh, gauze petroleum or petroleum gauze. Now, I've never seen these in use or haven't really heard of them much in use. I'm assuming this is for specific military application. Um, but either way, very cool. Hopefully we can do a video with how to use some of this equipment. We can bring somebody in with some experience um, military-wise and they can explain how to use some of this stuff. So very cool. What else do we got in here? Uh, another camouflage field dressing. It's like this one's in a different package. Uh, it says compression. This one is not. Four by seven camouflage dressing, first aid for the field. It looks like we got a couple of them in here. It's like we got one, two, three, looks like there's a few rather than a couple. Now, to be fair, by opening this thing, I'm not really wasting anything. When I was going through the interwebs, looking up the shelf life of a first aid kit like this, pretty much said that after X amount of years and we've far surpassed those amount of years, uh, this is null and void. Now, with a prepper mindset, with a survival mindset, with even a scout mindset, however you wanna look at it, this stuff, for the most part, what I see is still good and can be put to use. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up. Check her out. What do we got here? All right, package within a package. All right. All right. Now this says, grasp with both hands and firmly twist before unwrapping. Don't touch face or pad or wound. Apply a white side of pad to wound. Wrap bandage and fasten by tying tails. Stir
do we got? Brass Surgical FMG Co. Should we open it? Should we figure out what the hell it is? Let's, uh, let's do it. Christmas is tomorrow, and I feel like it's already Christmas. There you go. Without even touching the wrapper. Some sterile bandages, right? Not touching it, not touching it, not touching it. And what I'm probably going to end up doing in an effort to preserve some of this stuff that I'm going to um, likely keep packaged up and maybe carry in my kit, we'll see, because this... Like I said, I would still use it. Uh, I'll put it in some plastic baggies to make sure that they're nice and sealed and protected from getting wet or damaged or dirty and infected by anything else. But I think this and this, yep, same thing. The next piece of item in the kit, all right. Cover sponges, sterile pads, pack the wound, pack the wound. Get him back here, get him back here if you can, can you move him? Can, can you move him? Okay, bring, try and bring him back here. Remember to stop the bleeding. And Devoye, yeah, the medic, it. having survived another rescue mission, brings back the wounded man. Who is it? Who is it? The question spreads down the line. Oh, Christ, it's Hero, the sergeant who likes to walk point. How bad is it? A couple of leg wounds. Oh, ho, ho. here we go. Here we go. Triangular bandage. Am I right? Am I right? Oh, yeah. Well, looks like our uh, first aid kit is empty. Now, from what I read in uh, the packing list, there was supposed to be more in here of some other various items I gotta say I'm not disappointed to all the Vietnam veterans cheers that'll do it for this episode of the last boy scouts survival in bushcraft I got a mess to clean up now so I better get cracking but before I go I just wanted to give a shout out to my father who served in the Vietnam War my dad started his career in the Navy at 18 years old. Right before his 19th birthday, he signed up for the United States Navy. And his first duty station, if you were, was on the USS Mount Baker. And the USS Mount Baker was an ammo ship that traveled out to Vietnam. And they delivered bombs to all the aircraft carriers as well as battleships and destroyers. So my pops actually did three tours over there, one on the USS Mount Baker and two on the uh, USS Constellation, uh, which is an aircraft carrier. And I'm gonna drop a picture right now uh, of my pops doing tug of war, uh, leader of the pack against the Marine Corps. Now, not to toot his horn, but Guess who won? All right. Had to give my pops a shout out there. Had to give him his props. But all right, until the next time, stay tuned. Stay safe. Stay vigilant. Knowledge is your weapon. Be prepared. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Last Boy Scouts. If you like what you see, hit that like button. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more from The Last Boy Scouts Survival and Bushcraft.